To encourage communities to practice sustainable wildlife management is really a very simple equation. The net benefits from sustainable wildlife management need to be greater than the net benefits from unsustainable wildlife management. So how do we make that happen? First of all, we have to maximise the benefits that local people can get from wildlife. And quite often these are very limited because local communities have very limited rights to benefit from wildlife and limited rights to decide how it's managed. Secondly, the costs of living with wildlife for local communities can be really high. An elephant, for example, can destroy an entire year's harvest and wipe out a farmer's livelihood in one night of, of crop raiding. A lion can kill valuable livestock. These costs are often overlooked and not addressed. There's very little compensation available to communities to tackle this problem. So we need to maximise the benefits and we need to minimise the costs. If we can do that, then we're well on the way to encouraging communities to practice sustainable wildlife management because wildlife will be an economically viable option for them.